Here I go, back in the city again. Half past seven in the morning. Hi everybody. Well, this morning I'm off on another bus trip. I'm going three hours approximately north of Perth to a monastery. I'll give you further details of it um, throughout the uh, video because I think that there's going to be a lot of chatter in the background and I don't want to have all that in the video. So um, I will talk about what the place is about and I hope you enjoy it. It's really interesting actually. So, okay, see yous. This is a town called Bindoon that we've stopped for morning tea. We're about to see a huge big couple of trucks come through with equipment on them from the mine sites. It's not that big compared to what was on before but you get to see. How amazing is this? I've never seen this before.
So this is St. Gertrude's College. This is where we'll be coming back to after you uh, We'll be coming back up. We've been down to the, uh, the Abbey. This rock represents a cross and it's a rock of remembrance for all the people who experienced neglect and abuse in this place. The Benedictine community of New Norcia has installed this memorial in acknowledgement of and sincere apology for the physical, emotional and sexual abuse suffered in this place. the monastery where they live which is private now we weren't allowed in there once upon a time but not anymore Beautiful trees. Now this is a memorial for the Aboriginal kids as well. base of the floor of one of them. Lots of little flies up here. This is the girls' boarding part of New Norcia. We're actually having lunch in here. We are visiting New Norcia, which is 132 kilometres north of Perth. It is the only monastic town in Australia 
with its Benedictine Abbey founded in 1848. The monks later founded a mission and schools for the Aboriginal children. A series of Catholic colleges were created and with the school that became St Benedict's College in 1965, later gaining notoriety for being the site of sexual abuse that took place in the late 1960s and 1970s. The place named New Norcia was named after Norcia in Italy, the birthplace of St Benedict. Unlike the Italian town which is pronounced Norcia, New Norcia is pronounced New Norcia. The abbey was founded by two Spanish Benedictine monks, Joseph, I can't say that properly, and Sierra and Rosenda Salvado on the 1st of March 1847. After two years spent among the local Aboriginal people, Sierra and Salvado came to the conclusion that they could be more easily converted by establishing a mission rather than following them on their journeys. Salvado was appointed the first abbot of New Norcia in 1867. There is so much history relating to New Norcia and to the monastery and the schools and the homes that the uh, monks built that it's too much for me to explain here. But if you go to the link that I put in the description box, it will give you a rough idea of what it was all about. There's also a true story that was crea uh, created into a movie called Oranges and Sunshine and it's about um, children that were brought over from Britain um, without the knowledge of their parents and it's about all the abuse they suffered in this place and another place in West Australia. Really interesting to watch and very sad. place with my mouth shut generally because there's heaps of flies we're just about to go and have lunch so hopefully you'll enjoy this video you know it catches again bye watch the sacrilege I'm turning more wine into water I've got to do it this way don't I there we go I have now got Water in the flavoured wine. <laughs> this is the old cemetery of New Norcia. It's interesting. It's back to front. So apparently these wooden crosses are all the Aboriginals that were buried here. Interesting that this name's Hunt because Hunt is a family name from Cornwall to New Zealand. So these are two Aboriginal graves that actually got somebody marked their name on there. That's good. So this is a very old cemetery. Mm. 
this one's sinking in. Oh, this is Dom Paulino Pararis, oldest monk in Nuinosia history. On the road back to Perth from New Norcia, there is one of three deep space stations in the European Space Agency's tracking station network. This is a new truck stop that's been built um, as you leave Perth area for truckies to leave their wagons, um, their trailers, or even have a rest. There's a pit stop over in the back there. And these are some of the vehicles that they take up north to the mines. Cheerio till next time. Thanks for watching.